Republican or Democrat. But getting back to a subject called Kamala, who's the, who's the worst? You know, I ask you this question because this has never happened before. So Biden's running. I wouldn't say his debate performance was one of the best, right? Do you agree? That's where it all started with the debate. The downfall started that night with the debate. The debate was like, that was a rough debate. He said, yeah, I had a bad night. No, he had a bad night. He had a bad everything. He had a very bad night. But it started, really, with the debate. It was all, you know, the game was up. They say the jig was up. And it was indeed up. But it started with that, and then it only got worse. And we were leading him by 11, 12, 14, 15 points. And then he decides to get out because the bosses said, we're not going to have you. He, he didn't want to get out, but they told him, you're getting out. So he said, you're getting out. You're getting killed in the polls. You can't win. You saw that. You can't win. You're getting killed. So now they bring in this one who's worse than him. She's worse than him. Because he's a fake liberal. You know, he wasn't that liberal. He was fake. She's a real liberal. She really is a real liberal. She's much worse than him. Now, if we start beating her in the polls by 10 or 15 points, are they going to bring in a third candidate? It's like... You know, Trump is killing this guy. All right, out. Let's bring in a new one. Out. Out. And then maybe at some point they get one right, but when will that stop? And you know, the guy had 14 million votes. So much for democracy. You know, they talk about democracy. He had 14 million votes and they said, we're going to give it to somebody with no votes. She had no votes. In addition to her horrendous record as Vice President, Kamala Harris has also been caught red-handed perpetrating the biggest scandal in American political history. For three and a half years, Harris shamelessly lied to the public to cover up Joe Biden's mental unfitness, claiming that Crooked Joe was at the absolute top of his game. I don't think so. I don't think so. I wish him well, but I don't like him. He's not a nice person. I mean, he's not a nice person. He's trying to put me in jail. Why would I like him, right? That's the first time. No, first time. And she's the one behind it. And she's got a new line, you know. She's going, I'm the prosecutor. She's one of the worst prosecutors in history. She destroyed San Francisco. I'm the prosecutor. And he's the convicted felon or something. A radical left judge in an area where every one of these cases, every one of them is brought by them. So think of it. They get me to that position, and then their campaign says, I'm the prosecutor, and he is the convicted felon. That's their campaign. I don't think people are going to buy it. And we won our big case. You know, we won the case in Florida. That was a big one. We won that one. And I got out by beating their Justice Department, and he got out of the same case, except his was far different because he had 50 years of documents, right? He got out by being incompetent. The prosecutor said he had no memory. He basically said he's incompetent, so he shouldn't stand trial. Can you imagine? He can be president, but he can't stand trial. What's that about? But, you know, but it was all headed up by her because she's a prosecutor, a really bad one. If Kamala will lie to you so brazenly about Joe Biden's mental incapacity, then she will lie to you about anything. She can never, ever be trusted. She can't be trusted. And just like crooked Joe Biden, Kamala Harris is unfit to lead. She's unfit to lead. She'll destroy our country. In a year, this country will be destroyed. A vote for Kamala is a vote for four more years of dishonesty, incompetence, weakness, and failure. Other than that, she's doing an excellent job. A vote for 